Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, a food delivery service that brings simple recipes and pre-measured food right to your doorstep so you can keep your 2019 resolutions. So click on the link down below to receive a special offer for 2019. Get $80 off your first month. Go to HelloFresh.com and enter Emmy80 and get $20 off your first four boxes. So big thanks, HelloFresh. And today I'm going to be making a recipe with this and this is an MRE or a meal ready to eat so this is issued from the United States Department of Defense to military personnel and represents a, an entire meal for one person so this is meal 15 Mexican style chicken stew and it was sent to me from Skylar Skylar thank you so much for sending this to me I have tasted this ration before and I will put a link up above and down below to that tasting so I thought I'd do something a little bit different with this particular ration and that is to cook a recipe so apparently this is something that is done a lot in the field as you can imagine eating the same ration over and over again gets to be quite monotonous so oftentimes what soldiers do is mix and match all the different items or cook or make recipes using the ingredients in different rations and i'm going to be using this little pamphlet for inspiration so this is brought to my attention through an email from steve steve thank you so much for sharing this with me and it's the unofficial mre recipe booklet so according to steve this was printed by the tabasco company apparently the president at the time was general brigadier michelinie as in Michelini Tabasco, he put this booklet together, it includes recipes that you compare using ingredients found in MREs. Now, this book is a little bit dated, so the MREs that are included up here are not the current ones, but I think the concept remains the same. This idea of mixing and matching different things and trying to cook something to make your meal a little bit more enjoyable. I have everything I need to make the peanut butter cannonballs, so that's what we're gonna be making today. So this one comes in this little shrink wrap bag. Oh, there's M&Ms at the bottom. Yes, that's so exciting. Nutrition facts, sundries bag, vegetable crackers, spoon, peanut butter, chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder, cheddar cheese pretzels. Instead of hot sauce, they have ground pepper. Chocolate M&Ms. Mango peach applesauce, flameless ration heater, the Mexican style chicken stew. So flameless ration heater, slide the ration in first. Now we're gonna add water just to this fill line. Fold it down. Now we're gonna elevate this so the water doesn't escape and let that sit for about 10 minutes. So while we're waiting for the entree to heat up, let me tell you a little bit more about HelloFresh. So HelloFresh is a food delivery service that brings simple recipes and pre-measured food right to your doorstep so you can prepare a meal in 30 minutes. So the food arrives right at your doorstep in an insulated box and comes with easy to follow six step recipe cards that make putting together the meal quick and easy. So it makes meal planning and food preparation super easy and convenient. You can choose between three different options, the classic, the family, or the veggie. So this week, my family really enjoyed the pasta parmesan with zucchini, Tuscan herbs, and marinara sauce. HelloFresh meals are now priced from $6.99 a serving. HelloFresh is also a really great way to get out of recipe ruts. You can try new ingredients and new recipes. So take advantage of HelloFresh's special offer for 2019. Get $80 off your first month by going to hellofresh.com and entering the code emmy 80 to get $20 off your first four boxes of food. So the ingredients we're gonna to need to make the peanut butter cannonballs are as follows. Packet of peanut butter, packet of crackers. These are vegetable crackers. I'm hoping they're not gonna be too strongly flavored, but we will see. This is chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage. And then we're gonna need our sugar from here. Oh dear. This accessories pack is pretty spare. We have iodized salt, a moist toilette, TP, gum, and beverage-based cranberry grape powder, but no sugar. So I think that's where the M&Ms will come in. Instead of sugar, I'm gonna add my M&Ms to my peanut butter cannonball. First thing I'm gonna do is knead the peanut butter so that all the oils and the peanut butter solids are nicely mixed. And then we're gonna take our vegetable crackers and we're gonna crush them up. This act of crushing actually reminds me of my prison recipes. If you haven't seen that playlist, I'll put the link above and down below as well. But I did a whole series of prison recipes. 
many of which contain ramen, and it was key to crush them because you oftentimes didn't have hot water. So if you crush them, it made it easier for the water, the cold water oftentimes, to absorb into the noodles. Sad reality though. Ooh, these do smell veggie-like. Hmm. The veggie flavor isn't too strong, so I think this is gonna work. I hope. And the recipe says to use three quarters of a packet. So I'm gonna dump the very top of this out and this hopefully will be most of the big crumbs that are inside there. I'm gonna try doing this a little bit like in the field style rather than using bowls. I'm gonna to try to mix everything in the pouches. Now we're gonna add our peanut butter. I'm gonna add a few M&Ms in here. Now we're gonna mix this all together. I haven't even tasted this yet. I think this is brilliant. <laughs> There's something about making your own food that gives you that freedom, that independence, the autonomy, just the act of making something for yourself, right? So I imagine you wouldn't necessarily have a plate out in the field, so I'm gonna use my plastic bag as a rolling surface, but I'm gonna use my plate as a little bit of contrast so you can see it better on camera. So now I'm gonna take my chocolate hazelnut cocoa powder. Now we're gonna take our peanut butter mixture and roll this into balls. And then roll it into the cocoa powder. Alrighty, so now that my hands are covered in peanut butter and crackers, I'm gonna go wash them. <laughs> so that whole ball rolling process was pretty dirty, so I imagine if you didn't have access to running water, you'd probably just wanna skip that and just eat it right out of the bag. So now we're just gonna roll it in the cocoa powder. Oh my gosh, this is great. This is like MRE truffles. <laughs> Love it. So now that my dessert is made, let's go ahead and make our entree into a soup. So this is gonna be inspired by whole enchilada cheese soup. So instead of using the enchiladas, I'm gonna be using the Mexican chicken stew. Put this out of here. And we're gonna pour this into our canteen cup. Ooh, it's pretty soupy already. That's what it looks like. But we're gonna add a little bit of more hot water. Make it really soupy. This particular ration contains this ground red pepper powder. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Looks like it might be cayenne. And then I'm gonna add some Tabasco too because I have it. Because I have some of those leftover crushed up crackers, I'm gonna add those to this too. So here's our meal. Alrighty, so let's give our homemade MRE meal a taste. So the crackers have softened and have also have thickened the soup a bit. Itadakimasu. Mmm. And relatively speaking, that's pretty good. I think I actually prefer this soup style to the actual main entree. The crackers have a little bit of bite to them, but have absorbed the sauce and the soup. There's big hunks of chicken in there, and when you have it, as a soup, you think, oh my gosh, that's a huge chunk of chicken, how generous <laughs> you have it in the context of a soup. But I have to say, you definitely need some of that chili in there to give it that pep and a little bit of life. But yeah, I like that. So now let's have our dessert, our peanut butter cannonballs. <laughs> and that's not half bad either. Very peanut buttery, great big crunch. I love the addition of the M&Ms in there. It gives it additional crunch, but a little bit of chocolate. We didn't have sugar in there, and I'm actually appreciative that we didn't because the cocoa powder is actually sweetened too. So that kind of makes up for the fact that we didn't have any additional sugar. Yeah, and in case you're wondering, I don't taste any of the vegetable cracker, just peanut butter and chocolate. <laughs> mm. And vanilla. Mm -hmm. Because this is hazelnut chocolate, it does have a little bit of a nutty kind of vanilla flavor too, which is great. It goes well with the kind of whole dessert theme. But you definitely need to have something to drink. There's a lot of peanut butter in there and it just like clings to the inside of your mouth and your throat. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. So there you have it, two recipes that were made from an MRE. Big thanks to Skylar for sending me the MRE. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Take advantage of HelloFresh's special offer for 2019 and get $80 off your first month by going to hellofresh.com and entering the code ME80. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.
Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Bye.